Hello, my glorious people of the internet, and today we're doing something you guys have all asked for. We're gonna begin an adventure in this game. I have not recorded by myself in a long time. I've only recorded with Sissensi for a couple months now. I want to get back into the talking to yourself thing, making everyone in your family think you're crazy. I kind of like that idea. So we are gonna begin adventure mode. Um, I'm just gonna call this. Um, they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. That's a bad idea. Let's not do that. Uh, let's call this open. Uh, yeah, I misspelled waters. Um, I was gonna type open waters, but misspelled it. I've actually played this before. I've actually tried to record this video, and I did not make it successful because I died by people shooting me in the face. So. What I'm going to do immediately is start building because we need weapon systems as soon as possible. So I am going to make this video a little bit more edited than my other ones. Uh, just because of the fact that um, there's a little bit space in between what's uh, when stuff interesting things are happening. Uh, so I'm just going to edit out all the boring parts uh, because when you're playing multiplayer you can't really do that because um, how much work it would take. Uh, but now I can. I can do that. Uh, very simple. So that is what I'll be doing. I'll be editing these a lot more than uh, my other series. And these will be coming out Tuesday and Thursdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays every week um, for the foreseeable future. Uh, but for now, instead of talking about that, we need to get resources up immediately. I'm going to get some set up like this. And... Okay, just checking my phone. Okay, so the next thing we need is an engine, fuel engine. Okay, so just a simple little engine. It actually outputs um, 1,200 power. Uh, not a bad engine, f in my opinion, uh, for a startup game. Uh, so here we go. Uh, next thing we need is a... Uh, we need some delicious, delicious fuel barrels. Uh, so we can start off the process of mining resources. What's the pro what's the problem? Why isn't this starting up? Well, aren't I dumb? I actually just figured out what it was. It was the fact that we have no storage for resources because of me as Sensei's Let's Play. We do not have to deal with that. Um, so I that is, <laughs> I need to grow accustomed to that. So I actually shrunk down our um gathering size for that for those, and I'm actually going to stick up. Um, these crates right here for our resources and as you can see at the bottom we are gathering resources um, next thing I will do is I will start uh, armoring up the ship and we need to get some sort of weapon place um, source some sort of weapons in place immediately uh, but I do want to armor my ship real quick uh, so I while I was working on the whole hull or hole or however you want to say it um I actually remembered that we we probably need um, some more resource collecting than just six um, because we we quite frankly at the very beginning we just need as much as we can get um, so I'm gonna make this kind of like a a mining ship and we're just gonna have some arms extending off to the side uh, that go off a little bit and these will be housing uh, some extra material gatherers for the moment okay so, here we go, and they are continuously making them. Okay, so we don't actually need them to be that large because we are sucking more metal out of the ground than um, there it's making. Uh, so we're just going to have it like this. This will be perfect uh, for the moment. Uh, next thing we need to do is we just need to armor this up and get an AI in place right away in some sort of uh, weapon system. I don't exactly know what we weapon system we want to get. Um, but I have, we, we can't go simple weapons because the things they throw at you in this game right away are unimaginable for what you think they would throw at you. They don't throw at you what you think they would. Um, so we, and then also we need detection equipment. I didn't fail last time I tried to record this video. Um, so we do need two because we only need three slots for cards. Uh, we actually need to turn off mirror mode. Um... Okay, so I got it on this other side. We need that, and we also need a, a not aerial AI, but naval AI. I actually put that in wrong last time. Okay, uh, and we also need to put uh, some delicious metal uh, on, on top of this, um, on top of, uh, 
brain, work with me. Um, on top of our AI. Um, last time I tried to record this video, it seemed to work fine without putting any, um, processing cards, but I do want to put one in right up here. Just so, okay, not connected to mainframe. Doesn't need to be connected like so. Perhaps like so. Maybe I'm putting it on the wrong way. There we go. Okay, so it is connected. And we can actually use up that extra slot in our... Uh, right there. So, next thing we need is a transmitter. And we actually need to punch a hole in the front. On, on the top of this. And we need to fill up the rest. And we need to put... Um, if we go to AI, we need... Uh, ba -da -ba -da, we need connectors. And we need to put a detection globe right here and now we can actually see the enemies around us I'm just gonna go with this because it seems to be the best that's actually backwards uh, out of vehicle is blocked so directions in this direction disabled um, it is line of sight backwards it's not telling me where the line of sight is Maybe it has to be sideways. Maybe like this. No. Um, m uh, last time I had this um, problem, I just made it higher and it seemed to fix it because it wasn't blocked by anything. That seems to work. Uh, so we're just going to leave it like that. And then I am also going to tower it up um, with some metal just to make sure that we're uh, hunky-dory. And then we'll also go to three blocks. And I do want to put some deflection equipment on this perfect and can I yeah okay there we go and then I'll also get a two meter shape like that and then a two meter slope as well curve it over there a two meter slope and we will also put a two meter oh no not that this Perfect. Okay, so we have the AI in the front. It's a little bit front heavy. We're not going to worry about that for the moment. I am going to armor it up a little bit more uh, with, sorry, with some more uh, wood. So I'll be right back after I do that. All right, so it looks like we're fine for the moment. Um, on, um, So if we have everything good except for the fact that we have no weapons. And for that reason, we are actually going to put um, some missiles in the back back here. Um, I kind of wish I could move this, but I don't know how to make one of these, so I'm just going to leave it right here and use up, just build missiles around it. So all we need is a little bit of controller, point that way with a connector, connector. I do want to make this quite big. Uh, j I just want to leave room for um, more in the future. I think six for the moment will be fine. Um, the first thing they sent me was bef before was a little wooden plane, and I could not take it out for the life of me. So I'm just gonna make some small three tower missiles that should be able to wipe out anything coming towards us. And it does look like it's fixing to rain. I'm just glad I have a better computer than I used to. A storm's a brewing. Will we live it? I have no clue, actually. I think I just got unlucky before because I, like three ships had shown up before this. I think I just got unlucky before, so I'm, I'm still gonna have a very high guard up, but I think, I think we're a little bit better. I'm also going to add. Uh, I'm just gonna fill in this gap. I actually added this gap until we had more resources, just so we can float a little bit better. I'm just gonna fill it in. It is gonna mess up when it gets to this this lead this lead block at the back. I am going to have to manually fix it just a wee bit. Perfect. We are floating much better now. All right. Are, is uh, is this blocked? Okay, it's not blocked. So these missiles at the back are not affecting anything. Um, let me s ensure you're gonna. Oh, okay. I did a bad. I did a bad bad. I did a very bad bad. Um, we need launch pads. Those are always great. Those are always great for your missiles. Kids, put launch pads on your missiles. 
Um, we also need to add one more because I forgot that we needed launch pads. They need to be one bigger. And are you blocked in your vision? It is blocked. I don't know if it's... I don't actually know if it matters. I, I don't know if it just means it can't see directly behind itself. I don't know. I'm just not going to worry about it until we get into battle. And if it screws up, then it screws up and I'll fix it right away by doing something. Okay. So, we've added some missiles, uh, we're- oh, hold on. I need to add some blocks right here, because we don't want our missiles to blow up. That would not be favorable. For your missiles to blow up, not a- not- not a good day, typically. When your missiles blow up, your only defense. Not a good day. Oh, I don't like the way that looks. Out of the game. Okay, perfect. So, it is blocked, it says, in its line of sight, but I- I don't care. I don't care. Um, so next thing we need to do is give this thing some propulsion, because at the moment it has no way of moving. There's no way that this thing can move. Um, and, uh, we, our engine power is good enough that we can just add these and be fine. Phone, shut up. Uh, so there we go, and we'll just add a, ro a rotor at the back, and this should be fine. It should, I say. I don't know if it will. Okay, I'm just gonna add two, because I'm afraid. I'll just add one, because I'm afraid. Um, and then we'll also add a little command center at the back, uh, or maybe at the front. Is there any way inside that I can add a command center? Perhaps. No, I've kind of jam-packed everything I can into the, into the belly of this thing. Um, so we could just take um, wood out of here. And then set it up on the inside. That that would be preferable. Um, but I am afraid when these blow up in inevitably that it'll blow up me up, and that's not good. Um, so I'm just gonna shove it behind back here. That's probably the smartest thing to do. All right. So I've I've added a little command center at the back. We now have propulsion. Um, so I'm just gonna sit down in my little seat, and we should be able to move around. We're actually outside of the resource zone. We need to get back in. This thing's not too bad movement-wise. It would be better if I could add some metal curves to this, but it will not float if I do so. So we do have some weaponry on here. We do have some missiles. I do not know how well those will end up being. And I have not act I just realized this. I have not added a uh, local weapons controller. That is something we need. We could use that very much. And this thing is extremely <laughs> slow. But that's not the point. It's just a resource gatherer that has some protection. Eventually, what I would love to do is just sit here in this resource zone and collect a bunch of resources and make a fortress uh, with four guns on each side. Uh, big, huge cannons with some AA in the middle and some missiles and shove an engine in it. And that's where I would put all my resources and some spare um, hearthstones. Because if you lose all of those... Uh, then you die and you can't restart um, as far as I know this is bad I'm actually gonna look on the horizon and see if anything is trying to attack us it does not look so there is some Marines which is scary because you would not know where they are because it's not like the old game where you'd know it's you can use sneak tactics now which is I don't like I don't like that idea uh, Line of sight backwards out of vehicle is blocked, so directions in this direction is disabled. I'm so afraid it's just gonna. Oh, everything's blocked. Oh, a little bit of lag. Um, we are gonna add a connector, and I'm just gonna make it one taller, cause I do not want to get in a battle and be like, oh, we can't do anything. Um, so uh, we're just gonna add a little bit more uh protection. All right, so we I added some more protection to that. That's fine, and you can actually see that thing floating away. I actually deleted the connector under it. Not good. I had to fix it. So now we have a complete line of sight for the air uh, and the ground, I think. I think so. I believe. So we can all... S I, I don't know if it has to be exactly even, like it's even from here, or if it's a 360 camera that can completely see everything. Perfect. I do not actually know how long I've been recording this. 
So, but this does seem like a good time to leave this episode off. In, this video might be a little bit short, might be a little bit long. I have no clue. Uh, please tell me what you think about Adventure Mode and if I should continue. Uh, there has been no uh, things trying to attack us at the moment, but we have built our super cool looking ship. I'm actually going to take a wee bit of a photograph real quick. Oh, I can't, I can't take photos. I can't make thumbnails. Uh, you know what? I'll probably just have to take it into the designer and do it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm actually going to save the game as we're waiting right here. Yes, please tell me uh, what you think about adventure mode. Please tell me what I could make different. Please tell me if you like the dome on the front of my ship. Uh, please tell me if I, what other weapons I should make of mass destruction. I know six missiles aren't mass destruction, but in my mind it is. So, yeah. Um, tell me what else I could do differently that would make it better. Because there's probably a lot of people that know a little, lot about more, a lot, lot more than me. Should I add cannons? Should I add lasers? I don't know what I should add. Please tell me down in the comments below. I'm, this has been at, no, been working on the new outro. I can't do it, so I'm just going to do my old one. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Atlas Gamer, and I will see you tomorrow. We'll add, we'll add that. We'll add that. Tell me what you think about it. Bye. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand.